Welcome to the CNCF's online program. Today's on-demand webinar is how to start with Prometheus using Promcat.io. I am Jesus Samitier, Senior Software Engineer at Cystic. Thank you for joining me today. In this video, you'll learn how to start monitoring your applications in Kubernetes with Prometheus and Promcat.io. Promcat is an open source online catalog that offers accurated lists of Prometheus resources, dashboards, and alerts so you can start monitoring your applications in Kubernetes in no time. Prometheus has become the de facto standard for monitoring cloud-native applications. In fact, Kubernetes exposes its own metrics in Prometheus format. So it's like a no-brainer when choosing the right application to monitor in your, your cloud-native applications. The thing is, where does Prometheus get its metrics from? I know everyone here is aware of what's Prometheus and everything, but, but let's do a quick catch up. Prometheus doesn't get the metrics like other more traditional monitoring solutions. Instead of sending metrics to the Prometheus server, the Prometheus server scrapes the metrics from directly from the applications, from all the containers running uh, your, the different applications. So every application needs to expose its metrics so Prometheus can go to those metrics and ingest them. That's the main difference between Prometheus and other more traditional solutions. The first thing you need to, to search when starting your journey in, with Prometheus is you might think you need an exporter, but what if you don't? Prometheus has its own SDK so every developer can instrument their applications to expose metrics in the Prometheus format. So maybe the application you're trying to monitor is already exposing these metrics and you don't need an exporter. For those applications that aren't instrumented yet, you can use an exporter. What's an exporter? An exporter is an application that runs in conjunction with the main application that you want to monitor. It gets the information from the application and then exposes that, uh, that information in Prometheus metrics. How should we choose the right exporter? Let's do, for example, a quick search. Let's see, we need to monitor MongoDB. MongoDB has several exporters. All of them are open source and available for free on the internet. But what's the right exporter? For deciding which one is the, is the right option for you, you should download all the exporters, try them out, etc. Once you find the right exporter, you need to see how you're going to run it. Do you need to run a Go program or maybe you just need to run a Docker image? Okay, what if it's Docker? Do you trust that image? And most importantly, is that image going to be forever on that registry? What if someone removes it from the registry? Then you might find an image pull error in your Kubernetes cluster uh, and, and that's a mess. That's why we created Promcat. Promcat is an online resource that you can use for finding the right configuration for your applications to monitor them with Prometheus. All the integrations that we have here are curated, they are well tested, and they are maintained by Cystic. So you can trust that once you pick an exporter from from uh, promcat.io, it won't be removed from our registry. Let's, for example, search MongoDB. You can see what's, uh, how promcat looks like. You can see the description. You can see the um, Docker image that you need to use, the container, uh, the image you need to use uh, to run this exporter. Also the setup guide. You can also download some cool dashboards to import them in Grafana and start monitoring. And also some alerts. These are a curated list of alerts that can help you to start monitoring. Okay, so let's let's see how we can use Promcat in a real case scenario. Okay. Let me show you. Let me let me do this a little bit a little bigger. Okay, so 
in this cl Kubernetes cluster, I have um, an nginx namespace with a, with an example application that is generating traffic. So nginx is con constantly serving traffic. Okay, so there there are three nginx pods, and inside of inside of the of those pods there are only one container, the nginx container. So what if I need I want to uh, monitor uh, this application? This is an nginx, so I can go back to from Cater.io and then I can search uh, for nginx and then I go to the setup setup guide and it's okay so there are a few prerequisites I need to enable this stuff status module the, the, this is an, a config map example in case you are in, uh, you need to, to tweak it in your in your application and then the, the installation of the exporter itself. So you can install the um, exporter right from uh, our uh, Helm chart. Okay, so let's try this. First, where we are going to get the, the patch file from our Helm file, our Helm chart, sorry, and then we are going to patch our current nginx installation so it 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 starts uh it it includes the new um exporter so let's go back to the terminal uh let's close this and then we are going to do this let's download this okay so we just downloaded this patch let's take a look at its content so it's basically adding a container here with some uh, limits request you, you can tweak this if, if you find any issue or if you need something different it's using this container port and and these annotations this is really important we will see this later but but this is how Kubernetes is going to discover these metrics. Okay, so let's do the the patch the command. Okay, no error here. So let's go back to the nginx namespace. Let's go back to nginx, and then. They are the three pods, but now we can see now in in each one of the pods we can find two containers: the nginx itself and the nginx exporter. Now that we have the nginx exporter working uh, as a sidecar of the nginx server, we can do a quick check to uh, assure that the exporter is working. How can we do this? It's really easy. We can do a, a a port forward to the pod to the 9113 port that is the port that uh, the metrics are exposed in and then we can go to the browser again and here here you have the metrics you can do this and then you you are now we are sure that the exporter is working this is a nice way of checking this because sometimes we configure everything at the, at the end of the process it doesn't work and before starting to tweak the kubernetes jobs the prometheus jobs other configurations it's a nice idea to be sure that the exporter is working so now that nginx has its uh, sidecar running the exporter for exposing all the nginx metrics how can prometheus get these metrics from from kubernetes well this is really easy we can go to the Prometheus documentation and then we can take a look at the Prometheus service discovery config. The service discovery config allows Prometheus to get information from the Kubernetes API. How? By using these annotations. So basically we need to create a job in our Prometheus configuration. We need to create a job 
for um, using these metrics, using these labels for uh, telling Prometheus where are these metrics. So, how can we do this? This is an example job. Uh, this, uh, this file is the helm file that I used for installing this demo environment. I'm using the cube Prometheus stack, which is fantastic, but you can install Prometheus the way you want. This file uh, will be available in the GitHub repository with all the files regarding this, this demo. So don't worry, you, you have this, this in, in our GitHub repository. Okay, so basically, if you can remember, um, we used th uh, two annotations, the port and the scrape. So basically the scrape is telling Prometheus, yes, scrape this port. And then the port is telling Prometheus, this is the port to get the metrics from. The rest is by default. So it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be slash metrics, but you can change that also. So basically, uh, in this job, we are using we are uh, using some relabel configurations. What we did is using the scrape annotation and the I/O port. So with the scrape annotation, here we configure how to use the I/O scrape annotation and then the port with this uh, regex, regex replacement. Also, we could change the metrics path by using this annotation over here, the Prometheus I/O path, if you want it. If, if your exporter doesn't expose the metrics in the default slash metric uh, metrics path. So you could uh, change the scheme. For example, if you want it to be HTTPS uh, instead of HTTP, you could use this IO scheme over here. And basically, and basically that's, that's everything you need to know. So let's try it, right? Let's, let's see if this works. Uh, okay. Spoiler alert, it does. Um, we have a lot of metrics here. Prometheus is auto-completing all the metrics we have, so we can do this and this. So that's it. We are monitoring our Nginx application using Prometheus with just copy-pasting a couple of commands from Promcat.io. Let's see what else has Promcat to offer. You can go here to dashboards and, and download the example dashboard that you, uh, is available here. So may so to have a nice starting point in in your nginx dashboard. Maybe you already have um, an nginx dashboard, but in case you don't, you can start with this. So here it is. Here you have the number of instances of of nginx that is three, and the active reading and writing connections, the waiting connections, not handle connections. This is okay. There are no connections unhandled. So this is it. This is how you can start monitoring your applications in Kubernetes using Prometheus and Prometheus.io. I hope you liked this video and see you in the next one. Bye.